In the 31st century, the Legion of Superheroes headquarters is attacked by a group of unknown criminals. Only Starboy, Saturn Girl, and Brainiac 5 is left to defend against them. The time-traveling trio of Mono, Persuader, and Tharok appears from the door to the command center, and soon they knock down the Saturn Girl. Starboy brings down the roof on them, but it doesn't even affect them. They send Starboy flying to a side and get hold of the time-traveling pod after throwing Brainiac away from it. Brainiac was unable to override the programming, and the trio disappears into a past timeline. But Starboy jumps at the pod, at the very last moment. The pod is heading towards the 21st century Earth, and Starboy tries to mess with it by smashing Mono's head onto the dashboard and sending the pod crashing out of control. A bunch of little kids see the incoming fireball and run away apart from one kid who frees at the incredible sight. Fortunately, he is saved by the Man of Steel, Superman, as he holds the crashing pod with his powerful arms. Starboy crashes onto Earth as well, but he rises up again with his Legion's ring. He soon discovers that his memory juice is no more and goes in search of meds in the city. He sees the city pharmacy, but the pharmacist doesn't understand the meds he needs as they are not found on Earth. Starboy changes into a human spectrum and he is fully naked, top to bottom. The poor woman runs out and informs the police. Starboy ransacks the place looking for meds and the police think he is some sort of mentally disabled. He panics and throws an officer onto the racks and then removes their guns. He runs out of the store but not too far as Batman is right there to confront the troublemaker. Starboy doesn't even stand a chance as Batman puts him to sleep quickly. Jessica Cruz is hiking in the forest with her parents, but unfortunately, they witness something they were not supposed to see. The man kills both her parents, but Jessica takes off running. The killer tries to shoot her, but she almost escapes. At the end, she has backed up to the edge of a cliff and falls down only to be woken up from her everyday nightmare. Her life is a mess and it's a battle for her to even get up and step outside to go through her day. She visits her psychiatrist and speaks out her mind. Jessica gets a call from work. And soon, Wonder Woman is on her tracks. Seems like Jessica is a new recruit to the Lanterns and Diana spies things up and attacks her out of the blue. This brings out the real Jessica as she finds her mojo and gains her powers. Meanwhile, Gotham News Network is hijacked by a group of terrorists, and they demand a hostage situation from the government. The leader demands water, and the weather girl bring him water. Soon, he finds that she is no ordinary weather girl, as she is Miss Martian, and then arrives the Dark Knight, the Batman to kick his ass. Batman is furious by the irresponsible behavior of Miss Martian, and warns her to be more vigilant and sharper. Superman and Mr. Terrific are trying to pry open the alien pod which crash-landed on Earth, and it seems to be harder than it looks. Superman cannot even see what is inside, and they try the particle beam energy as it can be a time-traveling pod. They succeed, and discover the three aliens who start attacking them from the very onset are not quite your friendly neighborhood aliens. The fight takes place to the street, and the trio of Mono, Persuader, and Tharok suffer some huge blows from Superman, but they counterattack. Superman finds it difficult to deal with the trio, and he falls to his knees when he gets a huge cut on his gut and starts bleeding heavily. Fortunately, Mr. Terrific comes to defend Superman with his impenetrable iron shields and the trio leaves. At the Gotham Penitentiary, Batman admits the newly caught crime boss and observes Starboy Thomas Caller. Thomas is a well-behaved prisoner, and he is friends with one of the most vicious criminals in the prison. They are watching the news while having dinner, and suddenly, Thomas remembers why he is here after seeing the attack on Superman by the trio of the Fatal Five. Thomas gains his superpowers, beats the guards, and starts to rip open the iron doors. The powers are so high, it actually breaks the security system in the prison as all the prisoners are let out from their cells. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy takes good advantage and tries to escape, beating the guards. Batman is one step ahead as he confronts the escaping Ivy and Harley to beat them unconscious. The crime boss aims a gun at Batman, but soon realizes he is not alone, as Miss Martian beats him down in her invisible form. Batman reaches Thomas, but he quickly pins the Dark Knight down after changing into his cosmic suit. 
He then flies away, claiming he has an important mission. Anna was communicating with his wife, the Empress, and it seems like they are looking for a key to free her from her prison somewhere in the galaxy. Superman is being treated at the Justice League headquarters by Mr. Terrific, and he is slowly improving. Wonder Woman visits him, and they discuss about the attack. Mr. Terrific claims the weapons are from 1,000 years in future, and just then, Batman brings news about Thomas Keller, star boy from the future. They suspect the trio will be heading to Portland to get hold of the young Green Lantern, Jessica. The trio arrives at the city of Portland, and they begin their massacre just like that. They destroy half of the city just to get the attention of Jessica Cruz, the new Green Lantern. Jessica is having her lunch and decides to do this once and for all as she comes to defend the city against the attackers. She is knocked down, but Starboy Thomas comes to her help as well. The trio then attacks both Jessica and Thomas from the two ends and Thomas is able to use his powers to wear down the enemies and Jessica delivers a killer blow so they can escape. They escape to a nearby building and hide in the car park, but the trio finds them easily and are about to unleash an attack on them. Just then, in comes the heroes of the Justice League and it is so on at the city of Portland. The battle unleashes, but Superman is nowhere to be found. Batman, Wonder Woman, Mr. Terrific, and Miss Martian does their best to defend Jessica and Thomas, but unfortunately, they get hold of Jessica and flies away. Mr. Terrific and Wonder Woman gives chase, but Mono creates huge vibrations and breaks the building to trap all other heroes. Somehow, Mr. Terrific and Wonder Woman are able to attack and get Jessica released, but she soon gets into a free fall toward the ground, only to be saved by the Superman. Miss Marcian is saved by Batman, and all of them are caught surprised when Thomas rises from the rubble with his super inhuman powers. Just awesome. After all the drama, emergency forces are called onto the area, and the heroes are cooling down for the moment. Miss Martian is trying to have a conversation with Starboy Thomas, but he is not interested. It takes only a couple of words and a pudding cup from Jessica for him to open up. Thomas cannot remember anything properly, but seeing how troubled he is, Jessica invites him to the Watchtower, which he happily accepts. Meanwhile, the time-traveling trio have started discussing further plans, and Mono nearly kills Persuader for his nasty comments on his girlfriend who is stuck in prison. Persuader is saved since he has the ability to produce bombs at will. Back in the Justice League Watchtower, Thomas is having a look around with Jessica. Batman and Miss Martian both are observing the duo and decides to go into Thomas's memory and investigate. They get ready on the chairs, and Jessica's calms the star boy. Soon, they reach the 31st century inside his memories, and it's just wonderful. They look around his house and everything but cannot get in touch with Thomas. Soon they appear at the Hall of the Legion of Superheroes. They find statues of teenage heroes in hundreds, and the utmost surprising thing is that everything has begun with the greatest of them all, the Justice League, who are worshipped and made in hundred-foot golden statues. They find each and every member of the League, and Jessica finds the Green Lanterns who no longer exists. Suddenly, they witness a hard-fought battle between two groups in which one side is made up of teenage heroes of the Legion, and the other side is the Fatal Five. They understand how Starboy Thomas imprisoned their leader, the Empress, and how he has weakened his memory afterwards. The real Thomas appears to them in the memory land, and he feels unstable due to his forgotten memories, and soon, Batman and other are awakened by Mr. Terrific. Mono has sent them a threatening message demanding the handover of Jessica or to face the consequences, but Batman and Wonder Woman states the League does not negotiate with criminals. Soon, a chain of bombs is detected throughout the city, and they go off. Justice League hurried back to aid the city and save the citizens. Superman and Wonder Woman tries to save the falling buildings while the other heroes save citizens from the ground level. They even stopped a huge train accident from happening. Jessica is stuck in the watchtower, unable to do anything, and she even shouts at Starboy Thomas out of frustration. She is contacted by Thorok via a secret frequency, and she leaves the tower immediately to put an end to this massacre. Teenagers do take rash decisions right. Jessica reaches the outskirts of the nearby forest and meets with the trio who are waiting for her. After going through the demands and terms, she has to agree as they bomb more places in the city. She takes them to a nearby intergalactic prison controlled by the Lanterns, 
and there, the group intend to release their members, Validus and the Empress. Somehow the Guardian Lanterns attack, and Jessica also tries to put things in order, but it's a little too late. Validus and the Empress have escaped, and they start firing on the Lanterns, and it's too hot for them to handle. Kilowog dies, and Jessica is knocked unconscious. The Empress makes the prison fall on the heroes and leave. After the Justice League have disabled all the bombs only, they realize that Jessica is missing. Starboy Thomas is having a breakdown upon losing Jessica to the Fatal Five. The League decides to go back to the time-traveling pod as they suspect the Fatal Five are going there as well. The Five enters the holding area through a grocery shop after killing the owner. They destroy all the guards and reach the inner holding. Soon, they have to confront the incoming Justice League. Thurrock attacks Jet, and the members have to take immediate measures not to die in the air. Somehow, Wonder Woman takes a one-on-one -on -one battle with Thurok, Superman takes arms against Validus, and after entering the secret tunnel, Batman is confronted by Mano. The fights have obvious winners and Superman and Wonder Woman defeat their counterparts while Batman takes the battle to another level. The Dark Knights knocks down Mano, and the heroes unite once again to face the one last standing Empress who is wielding unimaginable power with her magic eye, as she let it absorb all the power from the lantern battery earlier. Jessica regains her consciousness and somehow gathers all her strength and utters the lantern oath. Her broken ring comes together, and she once again switches into lantern mode and brings the two fellow lanterns who passed away in the fight onto the surface. The League is soon attacked by the Empress and her super-powered magic eye. The members are bound with the energy of the Lantern Corps, and even Superman cannot do anything about it. The Fatal Five gains their strength back, and the Empress fires her magic eye powered with the lantern energy into the sun as she plans to destroy the Earth and its history once and for all. The League just watches and pray for Jessica to return, and boy does she turn up like a champ. Jessica Cruz is the limelight, as she drags the time travel pod and destroying it, trapping the Fatal Five as well. She just pounds the four members of the Fatal Five like it's child's play. The woman is a ferocious fighter, and she does not second-guess with any of her attacks. After running through the enemy, she takes down the Empress as well. Finally, she brings down the whole mountain on the Fatal Five and saves the Justice League and Starboy Thomas. Superman takes off to stop the magic eye from destroying the Yellow Sun, and Thomas asks Jessica to take him as well, as he is the original Starboy, not even Superman can match his abilities. Truly enough, Superman cannot stop the initiation of the destruction, but Thomas bids farewell to Jessica as he falls onto the sun to absorb all lantern energy and stabilize the sun to save all living beings on the planet Earth. Jessica breaks down in half and she cannot watch Thomas vanishing into thin air like that. They have a memorial service for the great hero and Jessica claims he will be her hero forever. The Legion of the Superheroes members visit the memorial service from the 31st century and thanks to Thomas the Starboy Wonder, billions of lives are saved and you and I should be ever grateful for his sacrifice. Thank you for watching Second Look. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos. Have a nice day.